Hi folks, this is your fleeting view with the mountain outlook through to the weekend. For Wednesday we have fairly high pressure over the country with fair conditions for much of England and Wales with some sunshine and a variable cloud, the wind fairly light here, stronger breeze across the mountains in Scotland and across the more northwestern coastal mountains, those winds maybe not too far off gale force. Here we've got a front quite close by and that producing some low cloud, some rain and some drizzle for a good part of the day and turning more persistent particularly coastal areas around Sky. If we run that sequence through the afternoon, then that rain around the west coast just eventually becoming a bit more extensive further inland across northwestern Scotland and bits of rain also extending further toward the Cairngorms as we head into the evening. Fairly small amounts, quite patchy, but could just be around over an hour or so and some steadier rain continuing into the night across more western coastal parts. Here there's still a train of fronts around into Thursday, so some further low cloud rain and drizzle will affect Western Scotland into Thursday daytime. A fair amount of cloud around, although much of it across England, Wales and Eastern Scotland will be quite high cloud, so many of the hills and mountains clear, but for Western Scotland where there's rain around, that idea of cloud shrouding the hills most of the day. That rain could well turn heavier again across the Western Scotland for a spell toward the afternoon and evening. And here, as a frontal system really does start to gather itself together into the early hours of Friday, some more prolonged heavy rain is expected as we go into Friday daytime. That setting in across Western Scotland for a good many hours. Strong winds as well by the time we get to Friday. That's a very gusty southwesterly gale force winds, 40 or 50 miles per hour or more across the high tops in Scotland. All the while, very hot air is being drawn in across England and Wales. A dry day, lots of sunshine, some hazy high cloud, but very high temperatures then. Be aware of sunburn and the high humidity. Heavy rain across northwestern parts will start to sink southwards uh, to the borders and northern England by the evening. It's a front that's starting to break apart, but it may just produce the odd thundery burst of rain as it engages with that high humidity. Much cooler air, fresher air is following that front from the northwest into Friday evening. By the weekend, some uncertainty exactly where the front lies toward the south. The very hot air is being pushed away back into Europe. We're under a fresher Atlantic westerly pattern across Scotland and northern England. Some showers may be quite frequent across northwestern Scotland and the wind could well be gale force across the tops for a good part of the day. A distinct chill factor then on the high tops. Just be watching across Wales, maybe the Peak District, for the remnants of some rain and possible thunderstorms locally, depending how far that front has got. And for Sunday, again, the remnants of all of that system could still be producing some heavy rain. For southern Britain, northern areas nearer to high pressure may well see a fine day, but fairly cool. Just watch though for a few showers still coming in to northern Scotland. Plenty going on then over the next few days. Keep an eye on your local forecasts on our website. That's your fleeting view. Thanks for watching.